picture it. A run-down animal shelter in the middle of a small rural town. Run by a few humans. There's Voice, the female alpha human. She's distant, but she cares for animals. And she can be heard everywhere inside the shelter. There's Mueller. He seems to be the beta male. And he is hated. You know why? Because he loves dogs almost exclusively. And for some odd reason, he tends to sneeze around cats. There's the Pokey. He's cold and antiseptic. And he loves to poke the cats with thin metal claws. There's the Holder. He holds the animals for Pokey. And he's not all that bad, but he tends to have chilly hands. There's the Feeder. The giver of food and sometimes of petting. Best human around, but considering everybody else, that doesn't say much. There's the cleaner who is the second best human, only because he makes sure that the smell is less than it could be. And aside from that, there are various comers and goers, humans that are looking to adopt th themselves a nice pet. But unfortunately, these comers and goers tend to drop off more than they pick up. Our story begins at night. And everyone is locked inside their kennels. And there's a usual... A usual whispering among all the denizens of this shelter. And the general tone of it all is that tonight, there is a menacing buzz in the air. Word is that a bunch of animals are going to be taken to the dark room tomorrow. I know we have a tiger dreamer among us. And they dream of a mark of death that is hanging over all of the pets that are lifers there. You know, the pets that no one has ever wanted to adopt. And everybody knows that any pet sent into the dark room never comes back. And that is where I will say, welcome to my cast. And I think you guys are pretty much playing the same cats as from last week, right? I'm slightly different. Slightly different? Okay. Yeah, instead of a switcher, I'm a wily tramp this time. I'm okay. actually part turtle. You're part turtle? Yep. That's... okay. Are you still a tiger dreamer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Of being a tiger dreamer, or he's a turtle dreamer. The archetype. He's a tortoise shell. Ha 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 ha. Minus one treat. No. Oh, come on. That was clever. Yes, that was clever, but bad puns here are not tolerated. Not in my domain. <laughs> Fine. Unless I make them. But if I make a bad pun, then you all get a treat. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, no. <laughs> so, um, what is, is your st name still the same, uh, du not Dusk, what the fuck was your name last week, Trex, what was your cat's name? It, it's Pharaoh, he's still the same. Pharaoh, okay. Now, you have an idea of something, and you think that this shelter was built on top of a sacrificial temple to Hasper. Hasper? Hasper. <laughs> and also, I'm discounting the bad puns that are in the book. You do not get a treat 
for all the books puns. The books puns, you get my original bad puns are the ones you get treats from. Uh, and you are starting to think that Hasper might be looking for some fresh blood. The one thing you know about is that all of the people, all of the lifers in this shelter are going to be done for if you don't escape. Oh boy. And as the buzz continues, there is a lifer among the uh, among the rabble. That's when Meows speaks up. Meow. <laughs> yes, Meow. <laughs> Meows. You are a very clever lifer. And being a two-photologist, you were able to figure out how locks worked. And for your cleverness, you have actually managed to get some litter into your lock so that it does not shut all the way. Nice. Mm-hmm. Now... I'm capable of letting myself out, am I? Yes. So I would be able to figure out everybody else's locks as well? It would be a good idea for you to let yourself out first, probably, yeah. And then try to figure out how to uh, open the rest of the locks. Alright. Do I need to roll for that? Uh, yes, but... As you look around the kennels and your fellow lifers and various other pets... The kennels are filled with run-down and rusty in spots cages. All of the cages are occupied, from the big dog crates all the way down to a contingent of rats at the far end away from everyone else. And yes, all of the other cages, except for yours, Meows, are locked. Fortunately... <clears throat> You know of you know of one way to unlock the cages. Whenever sometimes when feeder and cleaner are in the kennels together, uh, feeder has told cleaner to he, he pointed at this big red ball on the wall, and he was pointing to it and talking very sternly to the cleaner. Okay, but I don't want to play with the ball just yet. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> then I will ask you. One, you, the general whisper is, yes, you are going to most likely go to the dark room. At the end, uh, tomorrow. You're most likely going to go to the dark room tomorrow, and you need to get out. So if I can let myself out, I should just leave, but oh, I guess I've got to let everybody else out. Or like, I mean, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, game's over. I'm out of the room. Okay. I don't uh... sleeping that much, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't want to play with the ball because I know that the if I play with the ball that everything comes out, including the big dogs, and I don't want the dogs. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, so I gotta... you also you're a pretty smart cat, mm. and you think maybe that, I mean, you would probably think that, you know, getting out some of these bigger, you know, some of these dogs might also be a a good thing too. You know that some of them are lifers, and you know that some of them will also be, you know, sent to the dark room. 
If you correct it, I mean, you could probably get their help. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to open the cages, like, individually. I mean, I have to kind of press this ball. I mean, there are ways to... I mean, there are ways you could probably loosen a few cages, but probably not for you. Is there any other switches, or is that ball the only thing I know that opens all cages at once? You know that the ball opens all the cages, but also causes a loud buzzing alert. Hmm. probably don't want to press that just yet then I don't yes you do yes you do <laughs> yes you do yes you do you want to open the cages okay fine I'll go press the ball no <laughs> it is pretty high up hmm. so it, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge for you to hit this And I'm the only one by my- I'm by myself right now, right? You are, but the other animals are looking to see what you do. Some of them it's, are intelligent it's... enough for you to- to see that you are trying to open the cages and they are actually waiting. <laughs> they are waiting to spring out. Uh... Are these cages little... like no? One at a time, one at a time. Uh, let's go with Joker since he started. No, I was just gonna make a side comment. I was like getting a little cat stance to jump. Okay, now back to you, Meows. Are the cages bolted to the wall, or can like if the dog was jumping at the cage enough, I could have it move in front of the uh, where the button is. Yeah, you could put. Yeah, no, no, they're not bolted to the wall. Okay, so I can kind of tease the one dog and try to have him, like, kind of go towards the cage and get the cage to move forward. All right, how do you tease him? Just twitch my tail at him, like, haha, I'm out and you're not. That's all right. Weird. He 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 I'm starts growling. <laughs> uh. I kind of, um, while he's growling, I just kind of rub against the cage and then, like, back away any time he tries to nip at me. Uh, nip? He's a big dog. He ain't gonna try to nip. You know. He's gonna, he's yeah, gonna, he's gonna, gonna he's, he's, he's gonna take a swipe at your ass. <laughs> no, they wouldn't attack with paws. They attack with their mouths. If they can't reach you with their mouths. Just in a way that he's, like, bull rushing the cage, though. <laughs> you have, you, you're just teasing him, though. He's not I... getting, you know what, make, make a challenge. Make a taunt challenge. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not, you're not exactly angering him. You're getting him mad, but... Not exactly, um, not exactly getting him to bull rush the cage. Okay, fine. Are there any of the dog's treats accessible somewhere that I can grab and, like, put in front of his cage so that he would want them? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'll say some fell out of uh, Feeder's pocket when he left. Okay. And he hasn't noticed. Okay. So I have that in my mouth, and I just kind of, like, uh, swing it back and forth in front of him, like, Look, I have a treat for you. <laughs> he looks, he gives you a confused look. I don't know. <laughs> just kind of, I... You're sending mixed messages. You're taunting him, then you're offering him treats. I mean... No, I'm 
I'm taunting him with the treat. Oh, like, you're taunting him with the treat. Yes. Oh, okay. Make another one. Make another uh, taunting challenge. Hey. Okay, it's it start it it works. He starts uh nudging his cage closer. But it's causing it's course. causing a loud loud rattling. I don't know. I guess to keep doing it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm gonna make it's a little. The cage in front of the button so I can reach it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the cleaner. Here's all the rattling, and has actually entered the room. I could just pull right between his legs and just be done. Do you, <laughs> you want to do that? At this rate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you bolt and the cleaner starts chasing after you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> this is gonna be the uh This is gonna be the meow sour here. <laughs> As someone has decided to steal the spotlight. <laughs> I mean come on, what is the other cages doing? I mean I got the human out of the room, so <laughs> Well, as you bolt out into the hallway. The hallways are narrow and dim. There's a little light that comes in through the high windows and the doors to the other rooms. Just enough light for an animal to see. Okay. <laughs> but the human can't see that. Human can't see what? Oh, the just can't enough light? Dim area. That is yeah. true. That is true. Do a stealth check. <laughs> I mean, he's 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 coming barreling at you. Where are you going? You know that the rooms tend to be locked at night. Mm. I don't know. Kind of do a quick one eighty and go right back through. <laughs> you want to go right back? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to go right I mean, back I into your room? To... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, make me a. I trip him on the way. Oh my god, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, make me a uh, an evasion an evasive combat maneuver check. <laughs> I will also try to. Yep, nope, you have managed to, in the way that you maneuver, mm. you manage to kind of cause him to slip on his terribly kept shoes, or his, not, not shoes, boots. His terribly kept <laughs> boots, and he actually does manage to trip and fall. Mm -hmm. And now you have successfully bolted back into the room. <laughs> uh, the kennels. Is he unconscious, or is he... No, 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 no! You, you hear him getting back up. Oh, darn. Um. <laughs> Am I anywhere closer? To pressing that ball now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you aren't. Ah. Although you, you hear the footsteps getting closer. <laughs> I just go back in the cage and act like that wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> okay, yep, you go back into the cage and then cleaner comes back in and the big dog that you were taunting gets moved back to where he used to be and guess what? You're at square one. <laughs> cleaner has left. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
I think that would be just a hiss. A, a scolding hiss. <laughs> Alright, well. Any other bright ideas, Peanut Gallery? <laughs> I heard, uh... Oh, wait, no, that's right. Uh, Joker, what is your cat's name? Oh, sorry, uh, my cat's name is, uh... I think I was gonna go with Rose. Rose, okay. Rose, you did start... Do you want to start meowing loudly again to get the... Cleaners' uh, no, no. attention. That, yeah? that was me trying to get the attention so that they, so that the cat could keep on getting the dog cage out with hopefully not being too much attention <laughs> on them. Yeah, it did not work sadly because someone yeah. decided to just bolt. Well, yeah, you tried. It's all right. Um, so... yeah. Any other bright ideas? Okay, dusk. Yes, you realize you are in a cage. And. You are... Your cage is locked. Now. Alright, so Meows, uh, you're still the only one with an unlocked cage. Ah. But... Yeah, I'm... St <laughs> um... Are there any Nikes you can find? <laughs> <laughs> Um. And there's. Yeah, I'm not a cacrobat, so I can't really just kind of climb up the cages to the button or something. Um. Is there anything else by the button? Like a lab coat or something? No, not really. Dusk it, is it's, a cat right? Dusk is a cat crabat, yeah. And I, and if he and if he was unlocked and you know away from his cage, out of his cage, he could probably just easily hit that button. Unfortunately, he's in a locked cage. But I don't have a way to unlock that just individually. I mean, you probably could if you. I don't know. Role played. <laughs> okay, fine. I know. I think I've spotted that one, like jumping around its cage before, and I think it could handle doing what I need it to do when it comes to the button. So I go to that cage and try to knot the lock to open it. Nod the lock? Nah. Gnaw the lock. Oh, okay. Yes, you will open. Not, 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 not. <laughs> oh, forgive me for my poor hearing. I'm getting old. Um. Eh, you know what? Please let somebody else out. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Okay, I'll just I'll just call Mercy this time. How long have we been at this already? And I'm already calling Mercy. <laughs> Holy shit! How? What the fuck? How have we been at this for half an hour? Okay, you yes. In the interest of... <laughs> in the interest of time, holy shit, yes. Okay, you know what? This one's locked for some odd reason. They're really fucking stupid. And instead of an actual goddamn lock, they just took like a fucking twist tie. And that's it. And then... <laughs> Okay, you know what? Dusk, you're out. <laughs> I swear to God, Dusk, if you run through that door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I kind of wave, you know, my tail at him, and I kind of look at him, look at the button, look back at him. <laughs> kind of like, I've been trying to get over there. <laughs> How you doing over there, Sin? I'm just wondering why you guys are never friendly to uh, any of the NPCs. Fucking <laughs> No, no, no. You have to taunt them. You don't ask them for their help. You don't try to, you know. The humans it's are the stupid. I'm a cat. 
Oh, okay. So you're racist. I get it now. I get it. Hey, I've been in this kennel for way too long, and I know that those dogs aren't exactly the friendliest ones when it comes to them. <laughs> All right. Dusk, uh, after stepping out of your cage and going to look at the big red button, uh, you look at the big red button. We already made an Aristocrat Aristocats joke uh, in the first episode, Joker. He wasn't here for that, That's though. true, I know. But we didn't. <laughs> we even, yeah, because cause someone full-on tackled the goddamn butler. <laughs> it was like an actual scene just ripped right from Aristocats. You could just drop the sticks. I need the give me keys right from his pocket, so I took <laughs> Well, I'm gonna as I said, I'm gonna be pushing it. Alright. The butt the, the alright, it's it's that's it. Dusk has managed to easily jump up and hit the red button. And yes, everybody is out now. The raid boss is down. The raid boss is down. And they all start charging out the door. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to take it easy and stay in my cage for a bit. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the cleaner... Seeing the mess, uh, who does anyone else run into the hallway? I, I'm currently fallen over because of what I've been doing, so like knocking my head against the cage door, then it opens, so I fall. So I'm kind of just hanging out right now. Ah, well, <laughs> lovely. So we have two people who are essentially motionless, and then there's <laughs> Tusk and Meows. Okay, well, what about you, Meows? Huh? guess I'm in the hallway, too. Okay. The cleaner sees the mess that is happening and the animals running about, and he realizes that this is not his job. <laughs> he is not the... Ra you, you, see, you see him just with this incredulous look on his face, and you see him enter the kennels and then just... Uh, for those of you in the kennels still, you see the cleaner come in. He sits at the desk that is there, and then he just... Put, he he just he just sits, and he stares off into the wall. And there are alarms blaring everywhere. It is quite loud. I, I I get up and I move over to the cleaner's lap, or I move over to where the cleaner is. Just okay. like this super scarred, like the super scarred black cat looking at this cleaner that's had a very <laughs> bad day. There's some sort of irony here he he looks he looks at you just kind of curiously well now that he's weighed down <laughs> <laughs> i'll go into the hall okay you see that the hallway is jam-packed with animals running up and down because some of them know where the exit is but they and some of them are trying to open the exit, but the exit won't open. Does it require a stick? <laughs> it might require a stick, yes. Does a cleaner have said stick? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be our second attempted murder on the cleaner already. <laughs> I was trying to kill him. I was just trying to make him unconscious. You didn't trip him up that badly. <laughs> hey, no one told me to attack uh, attack the cleaner yet, so I'm not attack mode. He hasn't. He hasn't. And also, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. The smells in the hallways are overwhelming and confusing. So. You don't know if a door is unlocked, where it will lead. Uh, 
but you said some of the animals might already know where the exit is. Mm-hmm. Yes, being a lifer, you know where the exit is, yes. And you are, yeah, seeing that it's not opening. Because it requires a stick. And you can also remember that sometimes they spring open after a two foot gets close to them. They went at night, though. No. I mean, there's a, there's a whole bunch of things you can do. How about you there, uh, Pharaoh? Are you gonna just keep s just uh, staying hidden? Yeah. No, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll hop on the cleaner's lap too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he'll adopt us. <laughs> <laughs> Sound fine, Joker? Want a brother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fighty cat. You nice, we fine. You nice. The, oh. the cleaner is... Oh, oh. oh, that's right. I forgot the cleaner sneezes a lot. Oh, no, no, oh, he doesn't. No, that's that's the... Uh, no, no, that's no, not the cleaner. No, no. That's Mueller. Mueller. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's... He, he starts petting you guys. Okay. I, he, he starts mumbling, but he's... His tone implies that he's not sure why you guys are resting on his lap. <laughs> the question is here, does he pet us exactly three times? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know what, you two get a treat. <laughs> I, I just rub, I just like, give, give that rub of like, appreciation or like whatever, whatever yeah pet feels bad for the owner it's just like a pity pity rub yeah oh yeah <laughs> that is exactly what's happening right now pity rubs all right so what does this guy have on his person uh <laughs> you notice his rubber gloves mm-hmm and that is that is what he pet you with was the rubber gloves that he was wearing. And you notice that he has a bottle that smells really bad to you guys. Can I try taking a sip? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> a spray bottle of bad stuff. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there is some residue on there if you really want to. Ew. Maybe this will enhance my dream powers. Sure. <laughs> okay. No, As you go to lick the the uh, spray nozzle, the cleaner actually puts his hand between you and the nozzle. It's like Strax. You're not a millennial. You don't need that. And he's, he's scolding you. You get a feeling that you're not supposed to have that stuff. Oh, fine, I'll stick my ass in his face and run off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. You, everyone, it's, like I said, the chaos is still, like, the animals have kind of gathered at the entrance. And the whisper is, you know, there, there's some anxiety in the air. Mm. Ro Rose is just gonna chill out with, uh, with the cleaner until the chaos in the room, like, disperses. Like, I'm gonna do that little cat yeah. falling into the thing, getting comfortable. <laughs> Face towards the door, so I can just, like, spring out if I need to. <laughs> so, so what yeah, we know I'm so stuck. far... <laughs> oh my god. We, we have a bunch of empty cages, we have an exit, we have a bunch of locked rooms, we have hallways... <laughs> Mm-hmm. I mean, I keep saying that everyone's checking the exit. And the exit, yeah. specifically, 
is not opening. <laughs> because it needs a, some sort of switch thing by the Because there are other mom. rooms. Let's try another room. I will there are another room. rooms. Thank you. Thank you, someone, for <laughs> speaking up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Which room has the prettiest room opening door? I will find that room, and I will go to that room. <laughs> hmm... Oh, so it's like going out the window and then opening the you door. You know what? <laughs> you find a you find a very clean door. And yeah. I and the smells coming from within do seem pretty cool. And you you, you get a sense of, sense of warmth that's flowing from there too. Alrighty, I will go find my trusty door opening companion, wherever he is. Fortunately. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Yeah, go ahead. Find your door opening companion. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. meow. <laughs> is that the cleaner? <laughs> huh? Who, who oh, are you? Can, who, I think who, he means dusk. Dusk. <laughs> he can jump up and reach things. <laughs> Are we just gonna make like cat totems where it's dusk on the bottom and then um, <laughs> Meowth on top? Dusk jumping so Meowth can reach the lock. <laughs> yeah, du you you find dusk hiding in the shadows. Meanwhile, you also see Rose still getting petted by the cleaner. Yeah. Just, like, tap Dusk and nod over to the door I found, see if he wants to follow. Mm. Dusk, you can speak. Uh, dusk will follow him. Okay, follow him. Yes, and... I'm guessing you're just looking up at the lock to tell him, hey, open this. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Dusk, as you get closer to the door, you realize it's open. Well, that was easy. That's easy. Yep. Okay, and as. Uh, I I assume that uh, Pharaoh and Dusk will indeed enter this room, and it has a nice thin layer of carpet, several desks, and also a nice row of computers and chairs to accompany those desks. Pharaoh, you get a vague impression of movement and purpose from this room. Mm -hmm. Did I hear them uh, going through that door? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, you did. And several right. of the animals, seeing that door open, also start gathering. Okay. And how many start chewing on cords? <laughs> <laughs> I do! <laughs> you want to chew on a cord? Oh, yep. no. Okay, Meows, you chew on a cord. Yay. <laughs> we find I don't know out why, this but... <laughs> We find out that this goes meta. It's actually Sin's cord, and then the stream cuts as well. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> but... Are there any doors in, huh? Uh, sorry. I was just saying that uh, some of you, though, and the and the outside have associated these computers with warmth. And as you get close to a computer, you and some of you, you know, who gets close to a computer, you are tempted to curl up against the metal, just for a little nap, though. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go do that. You're gonna curl up, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to roll me uh, two cat dice. Uh oh. 
All right, yep. Pharaoh is knocked out. <laughs> I had to roll for <laughs> It's only half asleep. God, I swear if I failed that. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> yeah, you you you're knocked out. You're 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 dozing. It's so warm. Um I can recognize sequences, but I don't know if I could actually use one. Like, would I know how to type in, say, a password of sorts if a computer was on? Hmm. Is there a good question? Hold on a moment. Like, I imagine if you hung out when the computer was in use, you might understand some parts of it. Yeah, I'm reading that right now. Can I has computer? <laughs> yes, I want to look up cheeseburger. Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fool, you cannot take a um, I have zero. <laughs> you know that there is, you know, you know that computers do require password access but you also don't know the password oh that sucks yeah are the computers at least on or they are on uh however as you started gnawing on the cords the <laughs> rats that were in that one cage they started taking some notes and they started gnawing as well. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna cut the power to the computer. <laughs> was, in all irony, I was chewing on a mouse cord, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You get a treat. You get a treat for irony. <laughs> and Pharaoh? There, yep. there, you were very nice and warm, but now you're suddenly cold. Those bastards ruined my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Is there only the one computer? Uh, the, no, there were a couple computers, but like I said, the rats, you know. There's also lots of stacks of papers on other desks, too. Let's go rat hunting. <laughs> I will. I need to keep my bed safe. <laughs> You're gonna go rat hunting? Yes. They outnumber you greatly. Hey, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna get the 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 feral Ronin to just come beat up some rats? Rose is still yes. with the cleaner. Yeah, no, I am. That's what I'm saying. It's like, are you gonna come fetch me to go kill some rats? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't sure. want an intimidation roll? It's like, I am cat. Hear me now. Does anyone, <laughs> uh, does anyone try to move across the desks that are full of stacked pieces of paper? Ah, uh, yes. It's time to be cat assholes. Take up all the papers. Or maybe, you know, okay, no. well, uh, let's answer that question when we go with Rose, who has been instructed by Pharaoh to destroy the rats, and you do, Ro and Rose, as you do see the office, you do see the rats chewing on the computer cords. Or some sort of cord, you assume. You're a yeah. feral, so you don't exactly know what a computer is. Yeah, I'm just like... There's, there's something that they're... I probably don't even know what a cord is. No, you they're don't. Chewing on something. Yeah, they're, you know that yeah. they're making uh, they're making Pharaoh angry. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do Mighty Cat Roar. The rat... You know what? Make an intimidation check. Okay, so that's how many dice? 2d6. 2d6. 2dc, don't you mean? Ah, uh ha, -huh -huh. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, here's where I'm going to give you an opportunity. 
how 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 pussy do you make your roar? Probably have it. Oh god damn it! Everyone gets a treat. I just realized it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can only keep three treats, though. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, can I, can, I spend, can I spend a treat to re-roll? Is that how that works? I forget. That's actually a good question. I I was I was busy reading the uh, goddamn adventure book. I entirely uh, forgot to read the man. The... After a challenge roll, the player can spend a treat to pick up the cat die and try again. Okay. A cat die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm spending a treat and a re-roll. There you go. Partial success. Yes. Well, since you're a scrapper, you get an automatic success because you're a big, burly dude. But, uh... Yeah. Big, big burly. burly cat. So, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Some of the rats clear out. <laughs> there, there, there are some who aren't chewing on the cords, but they're staying around. Well, as long as I, I look at um, the one that called me over. That is Pharaoh. Yeah. Turtle sound. Well, no, it's like, <laughs> dude, what? Are, are you okay with the situation? I give, like, tilted cat look after I did my cat rod. I was like, Aah. Oh, God, that's starting to eat the rats now, too. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'll look at Rose and give a grumpy head nod. I mean, Rose is kind of hungry. This, this is the food that she's used to. She's used to. Alright, you know what? Make scrapping checks. Both of us? Yep. Alright. Uh, 2d6 again. 2d3. Dusk. Yeah. Hmm. You guys managed to corner a couple rats, but now they're starting to surround you. Okay. Oh, oh those are distracted. Are any of the beds warm yet? Nope. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Ah, uh, you could probably sleep on that large pile, you know, the large piles of paper. I'll go over to the paper desk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you unfortunately because you are you know not exactly as awesome as a cat crabat you as you walk across the desk the piles of paper uh shift and fall and under one of the piles a piece of paper kind of floats down to you, Pharaoh, and on the piece of paper is a symbol of Hastper. Oh, boy. And suddenly, all of the papers start blowing around as if a large breeze has suddenly picked up. And all the animals start making for the exit as they are spooped. <laughs> the exit is still not open yet. Huh? I said the exit is still not open yet or just out of that room? Just out of that room. Okay. Well, I guess I'd follow suit and follow those animals, try another door. I will try and hide in the corner somewhere, under a desk. Okay, everyone's hiding. What about you, Rose? Cause oh, the, sorry. Um, cause the uh, uh, flying, the flying paper. Even if you got those two successes, the flying paper has distracted you and allowed your prey to get away. Uh, is, 
gives that little like whoa face and then just like probably doesn't even run towards the exit yet rose hasn't been here for long rose doesn't really know their way around uh are there other are there other doors out of this room no there's just the one well then runs out that door and then sees all the other animals probably runs like takes takes a sharp turn with another hmm. okay like and unfortunately the other door that would lead out of this hallway like you know it's hallway, there's two doors. One's the exit that you know of, and then the other is at the opposite end. That door is also locked. Runs into door. Yep. Okay, well, we'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> what about you, Meows? Well, I was just leaving the computer lab, trying another door. You okay. Rose passed out in front of the, front of the door. What about you, Dusk? Ah, <laughs> oh, there is not a window. But yeah, what about what about you, Pharaoh? Can I try catching one of the papers? Hmm. An interesting question. Yes, you see the forces animating the papers. And so you are easily able to grab a paper. But I'm still going to need you to do your challenge. To see if you get cat eyes. Or snake eyes. No, no you don't. But yeah, you managed to snatch a paper. Hmm. And I'll drag it out of the room and see what happens when I put it down. It stops blowing around. That's a good sign. Let's go get more. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, like, show the paper off to everyone and go, like, meow, meow. Look over to the room. <laughs> Swipe. <laughs> what, meows? I thought he was the only one left in the room. Dusk was, too. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I saw lightning. Oh, boy. Anyway. Um, okay. So, yes, you just start dragging the papers out. And what about you, uh... Come on, now. Meows, do you take a look at the papers? Or are you just gonna try another room? Trying another room. Okay. Roll me, not a 2d6, but okay, so you know where the office is. Okay, roll me 2d3, or 1d3. I don't have a macro for that. D3? Yeah. Okay. You got a two. Okay. You try opening the door at the opposite end of the hallway, away from the exit, and it is locked. And also... This is a uh, room you do know once you actually take a good look at it and it is the room to the it is the door to the dark room. Why would I have opened that door? I don't know. If I had known it was a dark room, I shouldn't have opened that. Cuz you door. were just opening a door. You didn't specify. Can I you're not taking a look at the room. You're you're not taking a look at the markings or anything. You're just like, oh hey, herpa derpa door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
go drag those papers over to the cleaner. He sound as he examines them and sees the markings on them, he does sound pretty the he sounds sad at their contents. Hmm. God damn you, human. Why can't you communicate better? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why can't you speak cat? <laughs> I'll give him an affectionate nod to try and cheer him up, but really, I just want to hit him. <laughs> you want to hit him? <laughs> It's what I want to do. It's not what I will do. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> he he puts the papers back down in front of him on the ground so you can grab them if you want. What, what are in the papers? Do I recognize anything besides that name? You see a bunch of That's colors cool. and markings, but you can't exactly recognize what the markings are. I will bring the papers over to the unlocked door. And see if there's anything similar. Uh, you can see that there are a lot of similar markings on all the papers. On the door and the papers? Oh, on the door itself? Yes. No. No, the door doesn't have... It has markings, but they're nothing like the ones on the papers. Nap time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone's taking a nap. Someone else want to take over? I think everything is John when it comes to naps. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm in front of the dark room. The thing is logged. Um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about I just throw in a hint here for the sake of time? <laughs> maybe if someone in the party actually took some time and maybe tried to determine what some stuff means and gather some information instead of just charging headlong into doors that are locked... <laughs> Maybe you guys might make some headway. Okay, right. fine. I'll go over and see what kind of paper he's dragging around over there before he fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> and yes, there are door markings. Yes, that's good thing to also mention. But... You recognize that some of these papers are very important looking. And that they have two different human markings on them. They have small blue marks and neat rows. And then there are also big red ones that go all over the page. hard to think with cat brain when even human brain doesn't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I can't hold your hand too much. I, I know. Ro Rose, after getting up, Rose goes back to the cleaner. It's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a grave over there? <laughs> a grave? What? There's a new drawing on the roll 20. <laughs> yep, that does look like a grave. So we are about, <laughs> yeah, we're about at an hour. And if you guys don't clear it within 
this adventure in the next two hours. That's it. Door. Marking store. Marking store. Marking store. Marking store. So wait, you said earlier that the the exit door, it opens when when there's a two-footer in front of it. Yes? Yes. <clears throat> I, I want to say something that's like, oh, would that be something that only a two-footologist would realize? It's like, is there an indentation in the ground? Yes, um, it would be So I mean, you're a newbie, so you wouldn't recognize it anyway. Exactly. I'm uh, a newbie and a feral. It's like... Yeah, a lifer, regardless of uh, their role, would be able to recognize it. But you're not a lifer. Yes. And Mia does know that when two foots step in front of those doors, they open. So, but not at night. And but I mean, not at night. Many animals. Mm. So, yeah, they're, so you're it right. It is day or nighttime right now. It is night. All right. It is very clearly night. So, because they're closed. <laughs> so I'm kind of like... <laughs> I'm going to start pawing on the cleaner and then uh, like looking towards where the, do the exit door would be. He... Will he is smart enough. He will follow you. Uh, and look at that door, and then he'll be like, he, he says something that implies that he can't really help you out with that problem. I start hugging his leg, which is like, with lack of better term, uh, please. He shakes his head and says Are there, negative. Third, third, sorry, is there another door in the kennel room or is it just the one way or just the one way <laughs> i love this i'm not showing the uh i'm not showing what's happening on roll 20 but i think we know who's drawing the door and all the arrows pointing from meows to the door they'll see it on my stream they're on my stream okay <laughs> well then, Jack, what do you want to do? Yeah, Pharaoh, come on. Boy, golly gee wonder, I really want to know. Ahem, I, I, I'll go ahead and look at Meowth real quick, just a nice, gentle <clears throat> gaze. Ah! Open the fucking door! <laughs> You know what? I'll actually allow that. You know what? I'll actually allow that. I'll allow. I'll allow that interpretation. <laughs> I mean, Which just go with the. Let me look at it exactly. Is this the dark room, or is this just? He's pointing to a door. You know what, Strax? Right roll me. Examine. Roll me a D two. Okay. Meows, do you want to take a look at the door? Yes. Now, you recognize that this is the door. After examining the markings and knowing your way around here, you recognize this is the door to the medical examining room. And you know that no animal likes coming here because Pokey and Holder are no fun to be around and they also have no treats, those selfish assholes. The very nature of this room ha uh, puts you on edge every single time you go in. Huh? You, okay, come on, how, is, uh, how are you going to relate that this room is bad juju? I just look at. Oh, oh, she's cutting out. Yeah. 
being Meows would understand that from Meows being around humans, but would the other ones understand that? It's a good question. Oh, come on, you gotta give me something. <laughs> okay, head shaking, no. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't know, interpret that as you will, Pharaoh. Okay, gotcha. So, you said this door is one that's locked, right? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, let me just headbutt it then, real quick. Let's see. <laughs> I thought I had tried that and got knocked out. Oh, well, if I try it, either I open it or I pass out, which is a win-win for me, really. Well, <laughs> let's let's see what happens. Yep, you're knocked out. Yes. Um, Rose is actually gonna start digging around in the cleaner's pockets. He 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 tells you to stop doing that, and he 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 defends his pockets from your grasp. <laughs> no. Looks back at door. Mer. Looks back at pocket. Mer. No. <laughs> I do like what would look like a cat hug, almost. Like I put put my arm yeah. on his shoulders, like. Meh. He he says no, and then puts you on the ground. Oh yeah, can I check? You know those forces you were talking about around those papers. Yeah. Can I check to see if they're still around? <laughs> yeah, they're still around. Did they lead anywhere? No, they're not leading anywhere. Okay. They're just blowing around. Free as a bird. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And yes, uh, okay, so there you go, Pharaoh. Meows has meowed at you. As in, as if she is questioning what you're, what you're thinking. I, I nod at 9,000 miles per hour. I nod <laughs> my life away. I'm <laughs> so hard. <laughs> okay. Is this door unlocked or is this one locked? Well, you could get your, you could order your cat cravat to check, to check it out. All right, fine. Dusk, point, and door. Dusk, door. Dusk, door. <laughs> <laughs> that went so much easier last week. <laughs> oh, have I mentioned that the greener pastures uh, is the adventure? That is basically like the thinking man's uh, adventure. No. He just brought it up now. Fudge. I'm sorry, I thought a group of role players would be able to role play. Forgive I'm a role me. Player, not a role player. I'm, I'm trying, okay. You'd think I'd be better at this considering I do this daily on a family post. <laughs> Some of the people, if they're actually watching my stream, are probably from that play that post. And like, oh boy, you would fail like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is unlocked. Even though it's tempted to knock up the beer. <laughs> I mean, look, if someone tells me. It's like, if someone meows at me to knock out the cleaner, I'm good at this point. I'm like. <laughs> he put me down on the ground. I'm done with this. <laughs> done with this two footer. Probably some better cat swing for a person. No, it's because the two footer is like, oh, two footologist. You would know this. You would know that. It's like, don't make me the only character that has to do something right now. <laughs> Everyone the... plays a two footologist. That's the solution. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
the thing is, it seems like the two photologist is supposed to kind of interpret the human world. And unfortunately, our two photologist is not doing that gathering the information to interpret it. Dreams providing any good information at least. Pharaoh, you do dream of a feline figure who is cloaked in a who is uh, cloaked in a yellow hood that covers their entire body. And the voice that you hear in your head says, You are next. Oh great. I'm going to wake up from that dream because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> now, would he recognize it as Hasper or? Yes. Okay. So are we in the medical room yet or are we still? Oh, God. You guys see Dusk ju try to jump on the cleaner. <laughs> You're not in the medical room. Oh, God! <laughs> the animals dogpile the cleaner. The animals dogpile the cleaner. You don't even have to roll. Well, don't, don't worry. There's an extra that's on top of that, because clapping. I, I want to have that scene where I'm like, I have a paw on his shirt, and then I'm slapping him with the other one, and it's like, this is what you get. <laughs> I'll allow it. He's knocked out, though. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'll allow it. I will allow you to bitch slap the cleaner until he's unconscious with the assistance of all the animals. Yes. <laughs> and then... <laughs> so, wait. Did a... Meows kind of share the fact that the two footologists were required to open the door, or sorry, that the two footer was required to open the door, even if it's just in the mornings. Oh like, well, if Meows hasn't thought to share that, then no. Uh, okay, look. Well, soon, we're gonna have. Let's access. just assume that I shared it with the group, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> If uh, that's the case, then, uh, right. I'll I'll right. allow that one mercy. Right, gonna <laughs> gonna start pulling, gonna start pulling the cleaner towards the door. Unfortunately, dusk there isn't any shining sticks. Rose wants to pull the cleaner towards the door. All right. Yeah, but this door is the one that requires sticks and requires a human like You know it you know a human opens it, yes. Not with a stick though. Nope. Uh so we need a switch to turn it on. Some of the animals help you, Rose. I mean what I what I'm assuming out of character that it's just a pressure detector and hopefully it's unlocked and we'll just get lucky here yes as you all as you all drag the cleaner to the door the door does not open oh rose looks disappointed and then what what all was in the in the pockets of this i mean i wouldn't know what it is but other people looking at it would know what it is uh some funny some funny smelling cloth and also a strange, strange box. A strange, smooth box that has many different colors. And then there's also a tangle of some sort that's associate, that's linked to the box. <laughs> strange <laughs> box with colors. Yes, it's a Rubik's Cube. No, uh, really. Is it no. like a motor? No, to Meows, you know that the cleaner sometimes listens to sounds coming out of this box, uh, you assume. Oh, okay. 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 
Okay, so it's a Zune. It's a Walkman. <laughs> it's a Walkman, you millennial fucks! <laughs> I know what a Walkman is. You said is, a cube with colors on it. I yes, I know. Cube. Look, I was making a joke by saying a Zune, okay? <laughs> The strange box smells of the same type of type of material that uh, Pokey sometimes has. Uh, Walkman that's cassette or CD. It is a cassette. I'll rip out the black ribbon for no real reason, just. Just yeah. fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, day 10. <laughs> the door is still unopen. You guys got the room to the medical... You guys got the medical room open. Yay. Okay. Um, what's all in there? Other than the pokies pokers. That's the main thing. You see a table in there. And all the various instrumentations that Pokey uses to prod you and probe you. Oh man, if I was a lifer, I'd be like, I'm gonna grab one of those use it on the cleaner. Did you say the dark room could be entered from the medical room? Or... It's a possibility. Uh, let me check. It would make sense to, but then again, it would be wrong to have the dark room and the medical room. Ah, uh, investigate if you want. Unfortunately, you know that bad. This room is a bad, bad juju. Did I cut out? No. You said it was bad juju, and bad then it was like... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's bad juju. I rolled a 3-4 for the investigation. Alright, you make... Or is that only for Strax? No, no, you make some progress uh, looking around this successes. room, but... But, like I said, it is... You're you're still kind of spooked. Why am I spooked? Just because I know I don't like this room, or yes. You can feel all the prods just being in here. I feel anything supernatural? Uh, you don't feel anything supernatural, but just the very nature of this room gives you the gives you the creeps. Can I go check if the dark well, room door is unlocked? In this room too? The dark room door is not unlocked, but uh, one thing I did fail to mention because it wasn't described until later in the book is that it does have a small glass window up at the top. Is it openable? I mean, it's high. You don't see any way to truly open it. I think either way, we're going to need a cat crobat for this, I think. Yeah, but if it's those kind of windows like in a hotel room that don't open at all, there's not right. much point to having to get up there. Well, he could see if there's other two-footers in the building. Mm. But so far, it's just been the cleaner. And... It is possible that Mr. Pokey and Mr. Holdy are in here. It's in the dark room. And in the sad days.
All right, you jump up and make me a uh, yeah, make me a perception check. Oh. oh. Wait, wait, we have to be close. <laughs> that, 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 that's triple ones. Never mind. No, 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 no. He he's he got snake eyes. Oh no. Is perception the right cat for the job? No, no, he just got snake eyes. So you got an embarrassing failure. And what has happened to you, poor Dusk? I'm gonna ask you, what has happened to you? was trying to do was look out the window, wasn't he? He was, yes. But he was also trying to have a look inside the room within the span of a single jump. Yeah, see his reflection in the window. <laughs> he starts attacking the window. <laughs> Man, the cops are after me. Actually, that's ambulance, ain't it? Okay. Dusk makes a dumbfounded look at the rest of you after his leap. <laughs> That's looking a little bit better. Ah, uh, you could see somewhat, somewhat into the room, but not too well. You saw a few silhouettes, but that was it. They might be a desk. They might be a two foot. You don't know. What about uh, everyone else, huh? Rose is still bitch slapping the <laughs> cleaner. Okay. I didn't see any papers in the medical room similar to the ones on that computer desk. No. But you do recognize that there are devices in there. Some of them are heavy. Uh, like the IV bags. How does expending lives work? Can I kamikaze to open a door? Uh, yes, you can. Yes, I believe that you can. Uh, spending lives is like you can roll three dice. No, it's kind of, you just do whatever you want, but you're like going in the blaze of glory. Something like that. Oh, that's automatic <laughs> death, though. Yeah. Any cat, even the wrong cat for the job, can succeed on one challenge roll, dire or otherwise, by going out in a blaze of glory. The cat automatically dies in the attempt, using up all remaining lives and unable to attempt a brush with death. Um. Yeah. Also well, automatically succeeds. Yeah, we did that wrong last week. Uh, <laughs> No, no, no. There, there is one for a right cat for the job can choose to push their walk and try a dire challenge without regard to their own safety, giving up a life. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like we do have someone who could probably kamikaze their way. Oh, boy. Do it. Do it. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go for a glorious attempt to open this door by kamikaze into it. All right, roll me those 3d6. 3d6, two successes win the challenge or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
as you you got inspired by seeing Pharaoh try to charge up the win to the window. Yes, that is two successes. You do manage to smash your way. You you know what? I'll just let you describe it. And All then right, so Rose does a little charge up, get a little cat pounce ready, and then instead of pouncing, goes for like something that probably the tiger dreamer for a moment sees like a tiger outline as I slam into the door if we're going super anime about it. It's like he's using the spirit of the tiger and knocks down the door. <laughs> well the door not the door itself, but the glass. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, no. So I pounce up into the glass and it just shatters and that just looks super epic. Like, even though the glass should, like, really hurt everything around it, it just goes out like little snow sparkles almost. I like it. And then, of course, I I take a... I probably get a new scar on my, on, on my like, underbelly as one of the glass shards does scratch me. Mm. To, for for why this is a glorious attempt or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you do lose one of your lives. Yeah. And... You also hear a voice saying, CONFLARNIT! <laughs> so, in the process, if you will allow me, I went to land and open the door by like landing on the door handle, essentially. Hmm. Well, that would work if it wasn't locked. Well, no, I'm on the other side of the door. Yeah, but it's not locked in the way you think it is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, as you land on that doorknob, I will allow you to land on the doorknob, but it does not go down enough to open it. Alright. Um. Looks, looks at the person in the room. It's a guy that is cloaked in a yellow robe <laughs> and yes you guys do hear you guys do hear the screaming of rose the desperate meowing of rose dust could easily get into the room now since he could just leap through the hole at uh he could easily leap through the hole that friggin' Rose made. <laughs> now what are you doing here, you little varmint? And I want to jump at him and attack him. Another kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. But imagine it. it. Can't just leap through a door window and kill the man. Grab a glass jar and just go. I honestly want to blaze of glory this and just absolutely destroy this guy. But I mean, you many, could. How many lives do I get? It's not seven. It's, like... it's nine. You get nine lives, but a blaze of glory takes out every single one of them. So you I would know. just die. I know. Oh, no! There's another one of you! <laughs> ah, con Florinid! Ah, dang nabbit! You know what? I am gonna burn another live. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for another Kamikaze. I'm gonna try and headbutt him. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, roll your 3d6. <laughs> Live fast, die young, baby! Nice, triple Three success. Bite me. Yep, you headbutt this motherfucker. And he goes, Oh god, why? Does it knock him out? It knocks him into the wall. What I'm going to do is. Unfortunately, he, he it does knock him into the wall, but and he does get to his feet quickly. But he's like, "Oh no. Oh no. You got you guys ain't coming in here. No, 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 no." He he's Oh yeah, I should uh role play this in cat. Okay. He starts uh 
he starts getting a confrontational stance. And starts yelling uh, very aggressively at you. And Pharaoh and Meowth, you also hear this aggressive yelling. From the two foots. Well, I don't have an easy way to get in there. Just Not an easy go way. Find a dog treat. You're gonna go find a dog treat? Yeah. Yeah, there's some in the, uh... Yeah, there's some in the, uh... Fudge. Cage room. Yeah, there's some in the kennels. Can I go and taunt the dogs with it and try and lead them over to the door? You don't have to taunt the dogs, but you can lead them over with the dog treat, yes. Uh, the I lifer want them to that... be angry. You want them to be angry? Yes. You trying to pull what I was trying to pull earlier this session? <laughs> yeah, except I'm not going to tickle them with my tail. Okay, yeah, you are <laughs> successfully taunting the dog, the big lifer that Meowth taunted, and he is starting to chase you. Okay, and then I'm going to sprint over to the door and I will, like, shove the tree under. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Well, I, I might actually have to make a couple checks with these animals. Ah, uh, yes. It's so easy for them to fail, too. That's the best part. Fortunately, it is not easy for them to fail. Except it is, because it really, if I remember correctly, it works in the exact opposite, unless they're cats. Uh, no. If, if I remember reading correctly, it was anything... And no matter who's rolling the die, as long as it's three or above, it's a success. Well, no. It, it, uh, anyway, it's anyway, it's it's rules, it's rule stuff. I'm gonna say that. Let him do that. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna do. No, nope, no, nope, I see no typing up the rules. So yes, the dog manages to bash in the door. Yes. This was. I. You know what? I'm gonna make it a a a. a yeah. German Shepherd, why not? Big muscly dog. Rams into the door, breaks it open, and it... it uh, Everyone now sees this poor, yellow-robed man. Deal in bank. You know what? While, <laughs> while I'm still kind of hanging on to this, uh, this yellow-robed man, I'm going to taunt the dog now by waving my tail and it, waving my butt towards it. Come on. I mean, it's. It, I think it's gotten a general idea of what's going on, and it's. It, it's not going to even need to take the taunt. Yeah. So you know what? I'm not even going to do rolls for this because there are way more of you than there are him, and you got a German Shepherd <laughs> on your side now. And. Revolution. <laughs> yep, he is down for the count after much fur is flying and claws are. Uh, striking, and dogs are biting. <laughs> and as you guys were scrapping with him, a piece of paper falls out of his pocket. I look at it and see if the markings are the same as the ones that uh, Pharaoh found earlier. No, but you do recognize through the markings on it that it has the rough locations of other sacrificial sites to uh, Hastper. And also, uh, Pharaoh, as you okay. get closer to this poor, poor yellow-robed man, you get an overwhelming smell of death on him. Nice job, guys. 
<laughs> you know this man must be destroyed. At the very least, you need to stop him for good in some way. Because you also feel that he has been clasped by Hastper. Oh, that's that's what you meant by okay. Yeah, he he's he's he has Hastper has this poor man in his paws. Hmm. We've got plenty of dogs and rats. What about the medical bay? I mean, there's plenty of equipment there that the two photologists could probably interpret. No, I mean to, like, overdose him. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I saw IV stuff there. I'm pretty sure I would recognize the euthanasia stuff. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, got, you guys just gonna euthanize this poor man? <laughs> Fucking payback. Okay, yep. You guys all, as he's unconscious, you instruct the German Shepherd to carry you all into the medical bay and stock up on stuff, and then the so... Meow Meows interprets the uh, anatomy posters that of humans that are for some reason <laughs> inside a veterinary medical bay. And you tell, you, you tell, uh, you tell Pharaoh exactly where to inject it. Oh, right in the pooper. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay. This man's dead. Yay. We did it. Oh. We, we gave him a lethal, we put him in the dark room. Yes, and by the way, now that everything is, you know, the chaos is clearing out, it's a bare, stark room. That's it. That's the only description I'm given here. A bare, stark room. Did the yellow road man happen to have any shiny sticks on him or anything like that? He did not. So these two were left here without keys to get out. They don't need a key. They just need, like, a button to press or something. It's just, you have to turn the switch on when it comes to those pressure thingies. It doesn't necessarily yeah. need a stick. So, some mm -hmm. of them are locked by key, though. It does. You guys uh, do know of uh, one door that you haven't tried, though. Interesting. <sighs> Yeah, that's true. You just committed murder, but, you know, why not? You're cats. No one's gonna frame you. Honestly, yeah. they're probably gonna frame the cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys don't know oh, that. take one of those uh, needles or whatever we did to inject with them and put it in the cleaner's hand so that his fingerprints are all over it. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Life, we're gonna ruin another. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. No, you're right. The cleaner. No, no. The cleaner. No, 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 no. You said this. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna wallow in this. Nope. You indeed plant the evidence on the cleaner. Might as well just cut off his hands and wear them as a necklace too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is that is a good observation to make. When adventures are starting to come to an end, <laughs> you start becoming an absolutely sick fuck. <laughs> start, like, wanting to cut off the hands of exploding zombies and wearing them as a necklace, as some sort of sick, like, trophy... Oh, like, that wasn't the solution to the thing that whole time. I mean, yeah, you guys... It, it was the solution, yes, but... You didn't know that. Yeah, sort of. Anyway. <laughs> there is one final... There is one final door. Alright. 
And it leads. Is there leads... any markings on that door? I'll draw one more. Arrow. Yes, you know, <laughs> you know that that door leads outside. Okay. Yes, and it, it is a fenced-in area that, you know, you guys have occasionally been able to go out to in order to have play time and get some exercise. So, Is there any weak points in the fencing? Mm, no real weak points, but it is just a chain-link fence. Hmm. It's not closed off. You can actually just climb up over it. Yeah. Rose, Rose All right. looks at Dust and is like, you're not, I don't know how to like express this with motions like, but just the face of you're opening this door. Then yep. Yep. Rose, Dusk opens the door. It's unlocked. Like Rose and still has some sort of blood from the glass. Yep. The Dusk opens the door. Everyone, the animals start coming out, and some of them start digging underneath the fence. Some of them jump over. The birds that are there, apparently, that weren't mentioned in the beginning uh, of this <laughs> of the description of the book, they start flying out. Bird would have been useful. <laughs> they start flying. Uh, God damn it, I'm doing it again. They start flying out into the open world. And you guys can just climb, you can help with the digging, you can, you know, you I'm guys fine. can escape. Do I go sleep on the dead body? Is that what Pharaoh would do? Is that what Pharaoh would do? Do you want to sleep uh, on the dead body? One. <laughs> it's not warm anymore. <laughs> I go sleep on the cleaner. Okay, you're sleeping on the cleaner. I don't know why, which we planted cool. all this evidence on. I don't know that. <laughs> he is yeah. right. So, those of you who did leave, yeah, you uh, do, uh, you you do smell the same smell of death that was on the yellow robed man. You you smell it outside of the kit outside of the fence. Oh no. But that's you're you're free. And Pharaoh, you, you wanna escape after your little nap? Yeah. Okay, you can escape after your little nap. <laughs> And that's it. Yay! You guys actually also did the bonus goal. What's the bonus goal? Goal killing the man. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you guys actually could have just went straight from the kennels to the play yard and then escaped. <laughs> so, was was there a way to get out the front door? No. Okay. Well, not exactly as described in the book. Yes, I could have put, you know, I could have probably the done the cleaner, uh, you know, the cleaner method of having him actually unlatch the thing that's holding the door from opening. Uh, there, there could have been a lot of things I could have done, but no, you guys, you guys got out through the play yard, which is nice. It was the easiest way uh, in the book, so that's still under two hours. Still under two hours, yes. And actually, this takes this took less less time than the last one. So there's the third. There's a third way. Even faster if it wasn't for this stupid. <laughs> it could have been faster if someone had investigated instead of just you know charging blindly into doors. Hey, hey! I killed the man. You no. did. You you and several other people killed the man. I. I had okay. Look, I just imagine this is like a double jump from like Mario or something. I just like I jump off the handle of the door into the man. He crashes. 
But yes, the final adventure that we could choose to do, or actually, I think next week what I'm going to do is have us play Surprise Fucker. Okay. It's a simple, it's a simple game. And I will, because ex I could probably explain it in a, like a couple seconds, or a couple sentences. But if we choose to do Cthulhu after that... The final cat venture in the book is Bay City Crazy Cosmonauts Crashdown. Oh man. <laughs> which San takes Francisco. which takes place in San Francisco on the night of July 4th in the year 1964. So how is that compared to the date that we just did? Uh well, it's not be it's not described as a it's not described as a, uh, you know, a, a puzzle adventure. Right. But it also seems to say that, oh god, this adventure is for adult players. It includes references to such alarming topics as alcohol abuse, illegal <laughs> drugs, biker stereotypes... Cold War politics, explosive death, and very old top ten songs. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna survive reading this one, or are you gonna need a drink for it? I'll be fine. Ooh, I could drink while running it, though. Oh, boy. Uh, this one has the most pages to it, it seems. Um... Buzz Downstairs only had, like, five pages. Greener Pastures had six pages. And this one has, seems to be seven or eight. I'm not exactly counting. I was waiting for you to be like, there's 20 pages to this one. No, there's exactly nine. <laughs> I actually did bother to count this time. Nine pages for a crazy cosmonaut crash down. Yeah, that's it. That's Cat Dulu episode two. Done.